metallurgy and materials engineering 25 present sir 26 present sir 27 present sir 28 present sir 29 present sir 30 absent then mining 25 absent 25 is there mining ankit present okay 26 Vicky, present. Okay. Then twenty-seven, absent. Twenty-eight, present, sir. Okay. Twenty-nine, present, sir. Okay. Thirty, present, sir. Okay. Those who are absent, aerospace twenty-five, twenty, twenty-six, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, I am CSB zero five eight. Sir, okay, my I, I, speakers had an issue. No problem. I I'll come back. Just a minute. Just a minute. Sir, I'm. AMB zero five sir. Twenty five. Okay. AMB twenty five. Then. Sir, I am CSB zero eight zero sir. Actually, there are some network issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll come that part. Twenty six is absent. Then twenty nine aerospace absent. Then civil seventy eight absent. Then eighty absent. Eighty three absent. Civil eighty nine absent. Civil ninety one absent. Ninety two, ninety three absent, ninety five absent, CST fifty eight. Sir, ninety four present, sir. Ninety four. Sir, CST fifty eight. Just a minute, just a minute. Ninety four present, okay. Then CST fifty eight present. Yes, sir. Civil, sir, civil eighty present, sir. Civil eighty. Okay, civil eighty present. Then CST fifty eight present. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, your attendance first day you have attended one, two, three, four, five days you missed. I don't know how you can reach to seventy-five percent attendance. It is up to you. Don't tell me because everything is being recorded. If your attendance is less than seventy-five percent, I don't. Don't tell me anything. Okay, it is your responsibility. Okay, so just I don't CST present today and. Uh, Civil ninety five is absent, I guess. Just a minute. Once again, I will check it. Civil. Yeah. Civil ninety five is there, correct? Yes. Civil ninety. Yes, yes. I understood. Present, sir. Yes, you are also you are present on day one and day seven today. One, two, three, four, five days you are absent. Okay. No sir. No, I was present. I have missed only one class. Okay, you have missed only one class. Okay. Other days I was present. I have given the attendance in chat box. But when I have called you, have you replied? No, correct. Okay, I am giving attendance. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. See, whatever chat box you have, uh, you have typed. If required in near future, it is recorded. I can check. If I feel, or else when, then why I am wasting ten minutes, fifteen minutes? The true attendance you supposed to give whenever I will call your name. You have to be careful. Next time on watch. Okay, I am giving the attendance fifty ninety five for the time being. Then, okay, okay. C S last time is C F T fifty nine absent. C S T sixty absent. C S T sixty three absent. Sixty four absent. Then C S T sixty nine absent. Seventy absent. Then electrical fifty five percent fifty six. Sir, C S T fifty nine present, sir. Fifty nine, just a minute. C S T fifty nine, fifty nine present. Okay. Then uh, C S T sixty nine absent, seventy absent. Electrical fifty five absent, fifty uh, six absent. Then electronics and telecommunication engineering. Forty-one absent, forty-two absent. Then uh, IT, sixty-four uh, absent. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm giving attendance. Okay. Uh, mechanical forty-nine absent. Then fifty-one absent. Uh, mechanical sixty uh, absent. Then uh, metallurgy and uh, materials engineering thirty absent. Then here mining twenty seven absent. Yeah, anybody missed? Sir. Yes. Sir, AMB twenty nine. I am joining late. 
why sir after the net connection i have joined your meeting after 7 minutes so okay. i could not attend your okay 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 your name sir somokanti odikari yes, 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 i have given that okay i have given that don't worry okay so attendance is over yeah fine sir have you marked amb 025 sorry to ask again yes i have given you told na no? okay thank yes, you have, yeah fine so Yes. CSB zero six nine presents. Just a minute. Uh, CS, which one? CSB zero six nine. Zero six nine. Six nine. Okay. Given. Next. Anybody? I'm saying if you can make a Google sheet for attendance, it would be helpful for us to keep a track of our attendance. No. I I I. intentionally i will not do because one incident like i want to share you it was google sheet something like that and one student was present almost 95% but unfortunately uh, the name was missed from there and uh, that student got uh, supplementary on that subject not able to appear in the exam it was very serious issue uh, that's why i thought rather i should invest 10 to 15 minutes to take the attendance Manual attendance, I do prepare. Understood. Okay, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. Uh, sir, but uh, if not officially, you can just keep it unofficial. But it would help us to keep a track of our attendance. No, and see, after some days, if you want, I will tell you how many days you have attended. Okay, that sir. Okay, I will do. Okay, I okay, will sir. do that that type of thing. Okay. Fine. So attendance question is over now. Uh, as I told uh, regarding the regarding, let me let me share the screen. Say as I told, twenty fifth will be the class test. So it will be uh, more or less similar pattern of. your uh, mid semester examinations and end semester examinations and actually i have decided i, uh, I will follow exactly similar pattern of mid semester examinations key questions in mid sem also you have to answer and uh, total marks is 30 marks uh, so 45 minutes for each question around 15 minutes and then 10 minutes Uh, i will provide you for uh, uh, taking the snapshot or pictures and scan it and for upload and uh, whatever due time i will post the question paper for the class test from that time onwards time will be counted and this is mandatory everybody's uh, camera is supposed to be on so that i can uh, see your face basically you can make your face uh, visible uh, uh, in that uh, camera and i can monitor that uh, 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 how much fair exam you are giving for class test as well as mid and end semester exam also if i found somebody is not using uh, using uh, camera so that student will be disqualified and mark for class test mid sem and in sem it will be zero that is the guidelines of the institute during the exams uh, during the exams you must keep your camera on second thing i would like to inform you uh, many times you have given the class test in your 10 plus 2 standard okay starting from maybe nursery class 1 onwards but here as somebody has unmuted you, uh, unmuted so you know, what you have to do you, everybody has to mute yourself i am getting some noise yeah now it's better so here the class test means some portion of the marks will be added to the uh, final score say for example here i will i will take the class test for 30 minutes perhaps i will convert this either to 10 marks or 5 marks i have not decided yet let's see how many class test i can take it if it is only one then this test uh, class test one supposed to carry 10 marks okay if it is two it may carry five marks or maybe i can give 10 plus 10 20 also from the class test it is uh, solely depending upon me what i have to decide at the end i will decide how much percentage or or weight is uh, i want to provide for the class test so my 
suggestions to all of you dear students that you have to be very careful you have to be very serious for the class test so as per the protocol you have to keep your camera on you must keep your camera on otherwise you will be disqualified and in uh, while uh, exams cl or class test will go on i will monitor from here if anybody i found that uh, that uh, your your uh, camera is off uh, so i'll i'll mark you in that way okay i'll give you the warning sometimes i do understand that due to due to that network issue uh, we are facing uh, if you face some issue then you can intimate me during the class test okay and uh, no student should leave the classroom uh, regarding the class test that is the protocol uh, uh, our guidelines institute has provided okay with this let's start sir yes uh, sir is there uh, partial marking yes there will be some uh, step marks yeah that will be some marks but uh, if your free body diagram is wrong so no question of giving any partial marking directly it will go to zero even if if your uh, your answer is correct you are getting correct results but your free body diagram is wrong then your entire uh, exercise your effort finally reach to marks as zero that that is sure if your free body diagram is correct and you are you are you are uh, you have done few uh, some portion of the work of course you will get the part, uh, the part marks even if your answer is wrong but you are honest you have taken the honest attempt you are in, uh, intelligent enough you understood you can understand what does it mean by honest attempt if you do the honest attempt and i feel yes you have done that answer is wrong definitely your effort will be evaluated i will give you the part mark okay okay sir one more question sir yes yes sir can we use calculator yes you are eligible to you are entitled to use calculator 100% you can use calculator yeah because many times say like like theta i have given uh, say friction i have given 0.3 so you have to calculate uh, that corresponding friction angle phi can inverse point 0.3 definitely you, you you have to you must use i would say you must use your calculator during the exam that is uh, 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 permitted here okay during entire four year courses okay any other question any other question no question correct so i yeah. can yeah i can start then okay right. board my question sorry yes 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 sir uh, in the free body diagram sorry for asking again yes yes yeah when we mark uh, the tension let's say the tension of a string hmm. can we mark the components of the tension also in the free body diagram uh, so like you you want me to say that you have given that some some tension t along with tx and ty correct yes sir can we do that in free body diagram uh, if you do the free body diagram if you are Uh, intelligent enough then you can understood actually virtually you are showing 2t okay understood you are showing unknowingly you are you are showing uh, 2t that is wrong okay sir yeah uh, so you, you have what whatever uh, you want to use you have to come with some logic okay yes sir yeah that means you are showing 2t yeah no problem very good question okay you can ask the question you are free to I have given you the full permission to ask questions. Okay, don't worry. Uh, whatever the silly, repetitive, repetitive questions, yeah, I am bound to give you the correct answer. Okay, sir. Yeah. In question number six, uh, it was it was written that state any assumptions which you make. <laughs> okay, who is and one? Who is that uh, crowbar one? Equilibrium. Uh, crowbar uh, one question like. Uh, no, that is equilibrium or. or? Yeah, yes. 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 Certain assumptions which you make. Okay. The assumptions basically it is looking for that when Sir, it, uh, yes. you showed your solution and in that the assumption wasn't there. Like we assumed the crowbar to be massless. No, no. Yeah. Uh, see, whatever I have shown, I have done this ten years back. Okay. After that, there are many uh, corrections. Okay. some sort of uh, notes i have provided over there 
so it is not the fresh one okay and many times i have not eaten there so one is as you told it is massless second one is so when you are calculating this value of b b value uh, which will eliminate the tendency to bend the spike that indicates it is it, it is it is in in moment if you go for it that what you have to write so can you repeat what, yeah. what we have to write See, you have taken one moment equations to calculate b, small b value, correct? Is that it? To calculate yes, the value of b, you have taken one moment equilibrium. If it is in equilibrium with respect to moment, that indicates it will eliminate any tendency to bend the spike. That one. Why you have taken the moment equilibrium equation? Because if it is, it is satisfied the moment equilibrium equation. that means there is no tendency to bend the spike that is also under the assumptions that's why you have used that equation many okay, times sir. you are using summation fx summation fy moment with respect to some point it, uh, what does it mean it, it is ensuring that 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 body is under equilibrium for say x direction uh, force or y direction force or moment with respect to some point if it is in moment equilibrium that will ensure there will be no tendency uh, tendency uh, of the spike to bend okay. is it okay yes sir got yeah, it yeah. thank you okay fine welcome so one minute let's start today. so today we are going to start a new chapter that is class we call uh, two force members and this is one second the warning don't share any part of the study material to any social media platform slides are uh, prepared from the following reference book for online class to teaching purpose only no way it can be used for other purpose now what is class we call two force member Truss is having many members. We can denote by small m. M stands for members. Now, what is truss? Here, it directly is plane plane truss. Plane truss means it is uh, lying in a single plane, vertical plane. So we are assuming that 2D problem. 2D problem. Okay. Now, uh, till now we have studied like single rigid body, uh, connected members. Okay, and we have calculated from the equilibrium what are the forces. We have drawn the rigid body diagram, applied some force equilibrium, moment equilibrium equations. But in in reality, any engineering structures may be connected with many of the members. Okay, they are built. to support or transfer the force and to satisfy uh, and to satisfy withstand the loads applied to it withstand means it is capable to take that load okay to determine the forces those are internal to the engineering structures we must dismember dismantle all the structures and we can analyze uh, in for for analyze for all the all members separately by drawing the free body diagrams of the individual members or maybe combination of the members uh, and this basically requires careful application of newton's third law which is each action is accompanied by an equal and opposite reaction if opposite reactions equal and opposite reactions and collinear also yeah collinear also now this is the one uh, typical bridge i can tell that uh, and this bridge basically this is one car is moving on the on the, on the roof of, of the bridge and you can see if uh, the detailing of the bridge structures basically it is having some horizontal or longitudinal uh, some members we call stringers it is having some stringers then we have some other members like this okay and maybe if we considered that uh, or considered instead of in distributed load the loads are being concentrated at the joints 
the joints concentrated at the joints okay which are the concentrated at the joints then you also can see there are some here this members are along longitudinal direction this is we call in the transfer directions okay we call sometimes this is cross beam cross beam okay it is cross beam and there is one tendency to make all the members as a triangular shape because this is the simplest form to get the rigid structures internally rigid internally rigid means it will not collapse it will not collapse under the loads it is something uh, maybe 1 2 3 members m equal to 3 and i want to use three joints j equal to 3 three joints okay and if you see this structure basically initially we have 1 2 3 degrees of freedom for each member or 2 decays 2 decays was 3 2 translational 1 rotational now total 3 multiplied by 3 9 but once you have using one one uh, joint one joint then 2 degrees of freedom internally you have you have restricted this one another 2 this one another 2 so total 9 minus 6 again C will remain degrees of freedom. That this structures can be considered as internally rigid structure, okay, stable structures. Okay. If I want to I want to make structure like this, you can see very small amount load if you applied, a shape can go like this. We call it may collapse. It may collapse. So it is not a rigid structure. But this is a rigid structure. Here, rigid means we are we are consider, we are we are considering that. Sorry, this is the rigid structure, and this is non-rigid structure. It may collapse. But if you add another member here, it will be perfectly rigid structure. If you add another member here extra, it will be redundant structure. Okay. What is that? I will explain once again. But you can see that forces, the assumptions here, that forces are being applied. At the joints only forces are being applied at the joints only okay now different types of uh, uh, truss you can get uh, so what is truss maybe i have not told here definition of the truss is this is uh, formed from two force members the state members with end point connection trusses are formed from two force member those are uh, basically straight members with end point connections there are other types of uh, member called frame that consist at least one member with multi force member okay with multi force more than two members acted upon uh, by three or more forces okay, at least if one member is carrying more than two forces then that is frame but that is are also rigid. Trusses are also rigid, internally rigid and stable structures. But sometimes we call machines, those structures are containing some moving parts. Those are uh, designated to transmit uh, and modify forces or moments or power. Now, definition of the truss can be told that uh, this way that uh, uh, a truss uh, consists of state members connected at joint. No member is continuous throughout a joint. No member is continuous throughout a joint. Most structures are made of several trusses joined together to form a space work in three dimensional case maybe, maybe two dimensional case. And each truss carries load, those loads which act in its plane and may be treated as a two dimensional problem for 2D trusses. We call plane truss. Plane means in a single plane, okay? Maybe X, Y plane. Now, bolted and welded connections are assumed to be pinned together. You can see here, there will be some, some uh, bolted or riveted joints. We have to assume that bolted or welded connections are assumed to be pinned together. Force acting at the member ends reduced to a single force and there is no couple no moment tendency means resultant moment tendency no couple only two force members are considered 
and and when forces try to pull any member apart when forces tend to pull any member apart it is under tension when forces tend to compress the member it is under compression and another assumption is we are not assuming the mass mass of the member here in first problem we are not assuming mass of the member because we are assuming the force uh, being transmitted force being developed on the members are much higher than the its cell point next one we are not as assuming any friction for this problem frictions of the of the members are being are being uh, uh uh not considered over here now different types of like uh, process plane process like uh, for for these process you can see this is looks like uh can consider this is very this is called simple truss initially you have uh, this this uh, three members one one triangular shape then then you have to add you have to just add two members along with one joint then you have to add another two members and the joint okay maybe then another two members with the joint another two members with the joint this way if you if you do you call simple truss this is simple truss now let's come back in this is different types this is type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 type 5 this is for bridge truss and this are for the roof truss Okay, this type, this type, this type, and this type. Now, one important thing, so what I want to tell you: consider first of all uh, internal internal structure. Okay, and I told I have three members, then joined by pin. Okay, so here as a whole, degrees of freedom is three, but this. Inter triangular shape, uh, three members joined by pin. I am not internal structures. I want to consider. Okay. Now, how many degrees of freedom? I told three for two D case. Now, if if you consider members are M, members are M. Here it is three for this case. Joints are also three. Joints are also three. Now. If I want to write the, uh, uh, if I want to write some relationship for the simple class with the number of number of uh, members, joints, and degrees of freedom, okay, and degrees of freedom, it is like it is like we have member M joints at uh, M equal to three joints at three. and it is having degrees of freedom is 3 as a whole degrees of freedom is 3 so if i write this this one that for each joint for each joint we know two degrees of freedom will be restricted so three joint means basically 2j if i write this expression like 2j this is the internally internally this is the number of degrees of freedom restricted due to this joint Three joint, two J for each one, for 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 each joint, two degrees of freedom restricted. Then we have how many members? We have say members are M. Maybe members here two multiplied by three equal to six. Members are here so three. Members are three. Now if I want to go get the 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 A relationship like if I write equal to so three plus three equal to six. I'm writing reverse way. Then m plus three equal to two j. M plus three equal to two j. This relationship will be followed for simple truss. The simple truss has been created by first of all initially we have one triangular. Shape uh, three members joined by joint uh, three joints they are connected. Then we have added two members uh, with one another joint. This relationship will be uh, followed. 
what is the number of members plus 3 plus 2g why this 3 why this 3 because this 3 has come internally this structure is having 3 degrees of freedom this internally this structure is having 3 degrees of freedom i have not used some external support till now let's concentrate concentrate only internal structure so basically if we have j joints 2j that is the number of uh, degrees of freedom restricted we have members m plus m members m members it is connected with the m members if you add this m plus this 3 then only you will get 2j this is the relationship it will follow for simple class and it is basically uh, there are three members so unknown will be only three because this member is two force member only one force for this member unknown okay unknown will sir, be sir i have a question sir yes sir sir will there be difference between this structure i mean load capacity will be different i yes. mean the stress will be different for different structure okay stress of the uh, for the different structures will depend upon each member how much load has been carried out say if loader say cross sections are same for each members maybe circular cross section you can see the here that second ugly bridge correct so see the, those is the uh, say one example of the truss members you can see so now if the circular cross section if the cross sections are same then whatever the force are been carried out for each member if you divide force by area then you will get the stress now question is whether for for different types of uh, uh, process uh, you you are having same value similar value of similar value of uh, uh, force force acting on the on the uh, member it may be different due to the configurations it depends upon the force carried out by the members okay okay sir simply force divided by area will be stress axial stress okay now with this i'll move like this here what is called plane a framework a framework composed of members joined at their ends to form the rigid structures as i told 3d sorry single simple triangular shape also on rigid structure is called the truss okay now when everything are in a single plane it is plane truss it is plane truss now so here what i have uh, what it is been done member ab one member other is the bc or ca these three members 1 2 3 they are connected by joints by pin pin joints okay and as i told this is internally this structure is having 3 degrees of freedom and it will follow sorry m plus uh this what we get a plus 3 equal to 2j that expression but here you see this is a rigid structure here it is non rigid structure now if i add one member like this it may be rigid structure so that's why many places you have seen that there is some tendency to make the structure in a in a triangular shape because this, this is the simplest form which will, will be rigid structure say here same examples how it, it is been shown here one member is added like this then members added like this added like sorry added like this to form the structures to make the rigid structures here now okay now simple truss as i told when our basic basic elements basic elements of a plane truss is a triangle okay and we are and and it is forming some rigid body and we are adding two two members along with one joint to form any polygon uh, if this way if we create uh, sorry uh, rigid structure and this way if two members we add add along with one joint it will create simple truss but they told this example it may have some non rigid also okay this is this can collapse due to lack of some of some of the uh, members now whenever structures are built from a basic triangle in the manner described how 
we are adding two members along with one joint. The existing simple basic triangle that is called the plane simple truss. That is called the simple truss. Now, whenever we have a uh, list number of uh, 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 members to prevent uh, to form a rigid body, okay, uh, to uh, 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 then that that may collapse as I told. But if we have more number, additional member, if we have provided instead of like as I told, so like this one, this is this will collapse. This is a perfect one additional member I if I use. So the structure becomes indeterminate because we will not able to we will not able to calculate the unknown from the concept of equil equilibrium equation of equilibrium additional parameter may be considering the uh, structures are deformable and displacement equations will help us to calculate uh, the unknowns to find out the unknowns and for those structures when there are some extra members uh, when there are some uh, extra members, we call it a redundant structure. So one member, if redundancy is one, one member has been added more. Okay. Okay. We already told everything that it is two force member. So it's supposed to be uh, two force should be equal, opposite, and collinear or collinear for equilibrium conditions. Now, say for example, like uh, if it is collinear understood, so it will pass through the axis. Either it will be tensions or it will be compressions. Either it will be in tensions or it will be compressions. Now, and this is two force members. So this is the members. It is massless, there is no frictions and whatever uh, the loads we have applied, those loads, that assumption is loads are being applied at the joints only. Intermediate, we are not applying any load. Okay. So loads, loads are applied at joints only, massless members, frictionless. Okay. Now you consider these structures. So these structures. Of course, if I draw the free body diagram, this is the x, y. I want to draw a free body diagram entire structure. See, this is triangular shape. You can consider this is rigid. This is triangular shape. This is rigid. So both together, it is rigid. This is rigid. See, as a whole, it is rigid structure. Okay. I I want to take the 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 moment x uh, free, uh, free body. I want to draw the free body diagram for entire structure. So, F B D of whole structure okay here you can see notation there is something wrong no is it fever diagram is correct here this fever diagram yes sir the x component at point a is missing yes so this is missing so this is r a x is missing okay this is a this is b this is c this is d uh, this is E, this is F, this is ruler, this is pin support, okay, pin support. But this is missed. So you have to draw this, then summation Fx equal to 0 will give Rx equal to 0. But you cannot tell at the beginning uh, it is 0. You put this and equate with the equilibrium, write the equilibrium equation along the x-axis, summation Fx equal to 0. That is Rx equal to 0. Now, you, that means this is 0 we know from this equilibrium. Then what we can do? We can, uh, this is known, this is known value, say L. So I can take moment with respect to this point, uh, with respect to this A, point A. If I do this, then this reaction can be calculated. Then summation Fy, R1 can be calculated. So this way, first calculate R1 and R2. So to solve the problem, initially what you have to do, you have to check whether the structure is rigid or not. That I have checked that is uh, three members, they have formed triangle. That way it is been prepared. So it is simple trust. Simple trust. And this trust is rigid, internally rigid. And pin support and uh, roller support. So in 
so now this is the reaction so we can calculate from the equation of the equilibrium if we do that that is done then next will be we have, we have to dismantle the structures and one step by step you have to you have to uh, draw the free body diagram to get the unknowns okay i'll show you everything so if i read out something i already told that we may assume that the connections is a pin joint okay and it is at the center line of the members so an external force can only applied at the pin connections okay and those informations that we have to draw the free body diagram of the st structures as a whole then external reactions can be calculated okay for the whole structure then you can do the force analysis of the of the different components by drawing the free body diagram now method is joint is something a method there are two methods to solve one we call method of joint and method of sections in the method of joints what we, we used to do we have to draw free body diagram for for any of the joints starting from any of the joints let's go back say here say for example i want to draw free body diagram of this joint so i want to draw free body diagram of joint d so what i'll write what i'll do i'll draw one of this line this already i know so this is r2 maybe this is x this is y this is one force this is another force maybe this one i'll write uh, write i can write this way also de okay de means this member force and this is d and this is cd for me cd or dc is same or de or ed is same and i want to use this convention for me it is same okay. now maybe uh, this this uh, this is uh, some angle is 90 degree okay this is 90 degree and uh, this is 90 degree and maybe this member this member dimensions are same you can get the in that case you can get the 45 degree or maybe angle theta is known okay theta equal to known value now as these three forces are co, co uh, concurrent at this point d correct so moment equation will be automatically satisfied that means only remaining two expressions you can have summation f is zero and Summation f y equal to zero. Two equations. So how many unknowns you can calculate? Maximum unknown. How many unknown you can calculate? Two. Two unknowns. Yes, two unknowns. Now for this problem, if I I can extend this by dotted line, I will write free body diagram of joint T. If I draw the free body diagram of joint D, summation F Y equal to zero. Yeah. So this reaction is already known. Okay. This is already known here. Before, initially I have drawn the free body diagram of entire system to get the reaction forces. When I will remove the support, I will get the reaction force. Now already I know this R2. Okay. Now if I draw summation uh, this use this expression summation f y equal to zero then d will be known is not it summation f y equal to zero then d that means this d is here it is sin theta will be what i will write summation f y equal to zero that is d theta is known correct sin theta minus r2 that is zero then d can be calculated is not it once you know the d value summation fx equal to 0 you can use the expression to get the value of cd that also can be done. now the, the notation i want to use initially assume wall 
member forces are tensile then it will be towards the joint or away from the joint tensile is away from the joint okay so here what i have used this was away from the joint this was away from the joint but for reaction force let it be whatever you got from the from the calculation you represent this this representation means it is compressive okay it is compressive but when you have used this one x axis y axis if it is positive means it is vertical because you have considered this is a vertical one correct it is vertical so whatever value you got you this reactions you use that then you use this expression and if you are getting this value as the positive value then it is tensile if it is negative value then it is compressive then on this joint that indicates only two equations we can have for maximum for the joint like if i am having three three members if if i start from here i am 2 3 4 four forces are unknown here 1 2 3 4 is not it 1 2 3 4 4 forces are unknown i cannot use or start uh, joint uh, e at the beginning maximum value i can calculate unknown i can find uh, that is that is two only correct that's why i have started from joint b i can start from here also then go to this c this is ce make it tensile and cd here cb make everything tensile as per the notations okay take this is the x axis this is the y axis very interesting if you consider summation fy equal to 0 then there is this is 90 degree there is no component of, of cd along this y direction there is no component of cb along y direction so CE equal to zero, is not it? The CE equal to zero. No force will be taken by this member. But if this load has been applied here, then of course that load, some portion of the load will be carried out by here. But as it is no external load, summation F Y equal to zero will give there is no force of the CE member. So I have started from B, then the joint I this I will write. FBD of joint C. First D, then move to C. Once I I I reach to C, and also summation Fx equal to zero will give CB equal to CD. CB equal to CD. Then this also will be known. This is known. This is also known. This is zero. Okay. Then which number should I start? You tell me. Which member should I move then? Which joint I should draw the favorite diagram next? B A B. Which which one? Once again. The B A. No no. Which joint? Oh, no 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 no. Which joint we should consider? First joint was D, then C, then which joint? E sir E. Okay. Sir, e. You can go for E. already this two you know then then this two can be calculated yes then then if you can go f also correct you can go for f also or somebody may start from a also correct from the a from the a from the a you can get this and this then you can go to f go to f okay then from f2 f2 once f is done Then F to B. That way also you can move. This way, whenever you are checking that, maybe either you have started from D or you have started from A, whatever the way you want. Maybe you don't need to go for all the joints. Some joints maybe before before going to that particular joint. Maybe maybe if I start from D E D C F E F. Okay, then uh, somebody is trying from for for this sequence, and last one 
can be used for checking. Maybe you have considered so D, C, B, F, then maybe A. Okay. That way, if you move D, C, sorry, D, C, E, F, A, then B will be for checking. You check for B. It will be satisfied. Automatically, you know the value, but if you use summation f x 0, summation f y equal to 0, it will satisfy the expression. That will be for checking only. Okay. So, what do I uh, suggest you? You consider everywhere these forces are away from the member, consider positive. But say, for example, you got negative value. Don't worry. Keep it, the negative. But say, for example, I will show you. Say, for example, here, DE, DE, I will get say minus, minus L. L multiplied by some factor say lambda. This minus, this one. Okay, this one I got D, I got some negative. But when I will draw the free body diagram for E, I will draw this way. This, this is 0, this, and this. This is D, E, this is uh, e, D, uh, B, E, and this is E, F, this is E. Free F, B, D of E. Because C already I got zero. So one idea could be if somehow you found that uh, from intuition that some of the members are zero, you can directly start from that point. Your target is to draw the PVD diagram where minimum uh, minimum number of addons are present. For joint joint C uh, joint C. Uh, C is 0, that is from the intuition or once you will be expert, you can see that uh, the, the uh, force value uh, transmitted by the member C is 0, C E is 0. So what I will do, although D I got negative, but here I will, I will, I will use that away from the joint. But in the expression, when I put the value of, of B, I will put as a minus then your 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 possibility to do the mistake will be less why at what location students are doing the mistake is sometimes they are getting positive value of the sum member sometimes they are getting negative value okay but when one joint to other joint students are moving sometimes they are mess up with the sign and finally not reaching to the correct correct data so for that one, my suggestion is always you draw the free body diagram of the members, internal members. It's first of all, you have to you, you have to draw the free body diagram of the whole structure to get the reaction forces due to the removal of the support. Then when you are going to draw the free body diagram, when you want to draw the free body diagram, see this R2, R2 you got from the Initial equilibrium condition, let it be R2, it is external. For the internal case, for the internal case, what you have to do, you have to draw the favorite diagram which is away from the joint that is self side. Whatever result you will find, positive or negative, let it be. If it is away from the joint, then definitely, if this is away from the joint, definitely this also will be away from the joint. Be careful. When you are drawing the free body diagram here, if it is away from the joint, this also will be away from the joint. Let's make an make a habit to represent everything away from the joint for the internal force, not the from the support. Then even if you are getting the negative sign, use this symbol and the expression and the expression you write the negative value. You will get to the correct. Point. Don't worry. Okay. By default it is tensile. If it is negative, it is compressive. That way at the end. You can write all the members like here A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, E, F, then F, B, and F, A. This is the members. Now, these are the forces. Whatever value you will get, even if it is 0, you write those. Then here, nature of force nature, N-A-T-U-R-E, this is positive, tensile, negative, 
or perceive some something is zero some value at zero then it is neither tensile or compressive so what is my target as, as as an examiner i want to see that whether you have drawn the free body diagram correctly for entire structures if needed sometimes whole structure free body diagram may not be required okay then i will see whether you have drawn the free body diagram correctly for each individual joints to find out the angles what is the difficulty is say one bridge is having 1000 members here method of joint says you have to move from the joint 1 then you have to move for the joint 2 joint 3 joint 4 so sequence wise if you have uh, some some members they are middle of the structure then you cannot directly start from here you have to start you have to find uh, where the minimum number of uh, unknowns are present then step by step sequence wise you have to move then it will maybe come back up when people are interested to to uh, no, only reaction force or, or, or sorry not reaction the load carried uh, load uh, is been carried out by any individual member i don't prefer to go from joint to joint is joint it will be very cumbersome yeah that's why i can use some alternative method we call it method of section what it what is say for example i want to draw some 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 sort of imaginary cut so i want to draw some imaginary cut this imaginary cut okay and i am interested to to so i'll show you here this is the imaginary cut okay and maybe uh, left side i have only one reaction and i will draw free body diagram Th this portion i will remove this portion i will remove okay i have some imaginary cut and in free body diagram this internal stress internal force will be exposed here so this force bc will be exposed here this is trying to meet this point b for this case internal force will be exposed here this is e this is e uh, be force is there this internal force will be exposed here so bf and those geometry will be maintaining so if i know this reaction force here r2 Okay, here I'll draw this once again. Let me draw some space I'm looking for. Maybe here. So, just a minute. If I draw once again, you'll understand. So, these structures, these structures, these structures. Maybe this. just the structures okay, let it be color i can change let me take a red color then this reactions we know this is r2 now idea is this is the cut out imaginary cut so one force will be exposed here one force will be exposed here internal force will be exposed and it will be external force here one force will be exposed here okay and you remaining thing will be like this so this is d this is c this is e this is ef force this is be force this is uh this is b c force or cb force and this point is b and this point is c you see how i have drawn i have drawn everything away from the joint i have considered initially ten side away from the joint okay this is away from the joint so this is my i am talking now method of sections some imaginary cut here this and this are the internal force it was it is exposed now if i draw this is the x axis this is y axis if i draw moment with respect to this b moment with respect to this b summation this is 0 equal to 0 then c e will, this ef will be will be calculated see ef will be calculated is not it if i take moment equilibrium with respect to point b then mb uh, anti clockwise is equal to 0 Uh, summation zero means this ef can be calculated from the main moment equation then use summation fx equal to 0 summation fy equal to 0 to get the other two unknowns that is, that means by 
instead of going entire step 1 2 3 4 initially maybe i am interested to calculate the all the members what are the force being carried out then method of joint is correct and the wise decision but if i am interested to calculate only the force of be then maybe we can go the method of section what is the difference between these two is in method of joint every time we have to go from joint 1 to joint 2 joint 3 joint 4 that way sequence wise and everywhere what we are doing we are utilizing we are thinking that yes this is the joint so it is collinear uh, uh, sorry it is concurrent forces so moment the equilibrium is already been satisfied only summation effect summation f y we are using so two equations of uh, of uh, force equilibrium uh, we are using for third one moment equilibrium we cannot utilize why we cannot utilize because all the forces at a joint and a particular joint a joint are uh, concurrent but the third one moment equation can be utilized that moment equation can be utilized by using method of section that is very useful tool or method when there are many number of many numbers of number of number of uh, members present but we are interested to find out the unknown for the particular members or the few members of the structure so two methods method of joints and method of section this is the difference now this maybe we can have some special case say for example there are some external force as i told you have calculated then these members we would a video of joint here i am to draw here it is tensile it is compressive it is tensile it is compressive so it is ten tensile it is compressive then you can have uh, you can calculate the unknowns r1 is known these are two unknowns and finally you can draw the the, the uh, either uh, this method this is very easy what is been shown here or maybe some uh, closed loop some closed loop triangle also you can create because it is in equilibrium okay now there are some special cases say for example some forces this is the point c and joint c and free body diagram of joint c we want to do and this is 90 degree then this is x and this is y function f y will give the idea of the c member force on the member is zero so similar way we can have different examples also don't worry so what we want to do here that for method of joint as i told from joint to joint we will move for method method of section we will we will take some imaginary card section we will take and we will utilize both uh, uh, moment equilibrium equations and force equilibrium equations next is internal external redundancy this also already i have told when number of members plus three equal to 2j this has been satisfied then that is statically determined structure internally statically determined structure internally if there the, some members are more then it is redundant then it is re redundant okay yeah this is called the redundant members but when mem this is the redundant members but when members are less the, that it will be unstable and it will collapse due to the deficiency of the internal members deficiency of the internal members now one what is the important people say that m plus c equal to 2j this expression is the necessary necessary condition necessary conditions for stability stability means internally rigid that word necessity necessary conditions for stability but not sufficient conditions why why not sufficient conditions since one or more of the m members can be arranged such a way that they that they are not to contribute to a stable configuration of the entire track. Stable configuration of the entire track. If say for example, this is one joint, okay, one member. Maybe another member is, is, is just like this. So two members is like this only, okay, side by side. If I see two members are like this only, okay, and maybe here there are some joints some pin connection and maybe uh, some other members maybe some other members are here but this is the these two members are the same location they are not contributing to create the to to form the uh, stable configuration 
so that's why we call that m say m plus 3 equal to 2j uh, this is this is necessary conditions for the stability but it is not sufficient condition the remaining things will be told in the theory class for, the, for other subject that is called stability and control you will get more information for stability and how to control this in higher class for the time being it is enough for me uh, to to stop this portion uh, to show you that uh, stability so as i told some special case so this is one case there are two forces f1 f2 and f3 and they are in equilibrium you look if this is 90 degree angle and this is x axis this is y axis and i want to draw fbd of joint maybe a joint a then summation fy equal to 0 will give summation fy equal to 0 will give f3 okay this is 90 degree i told right this is 90 degree okay and this is theta f3 uh, cosine theta equal to 0. So, you will get F3 equal to 0. But Fy equal to 0, that equation. Now, if you use summation Fx equal to 0, what you will get, get? That F1 minus F2 equal to 0, F1 equal to F2. That means that Fy equal to 0 will give F3 is 0. Summation Fx equal to 0 will give f1 equal to f2 that means to have the equilibrium f1 f2 supposed to have same magnitude opposite but in opposite direction and act line of action should be same collinear now say another case there are two forces here f1 and f2 they are making some angle they are making some arbitrary angle excuse me sir yes so you said to consider the tensile strength, uh, like it's give, uh, it's F1 equals to F2. Uh, in F1 equals to F2, uh, so it's not tensile strength, it's the compressibility factor. So, okay. can you explain this? Part? Yes, yes. What I told at that time, initially we will draw the periodic diagram such that, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, internal force when it will be exposed, uh, the, of the members, it will be away from the joint. Okay, it is away from the joint. Away from the joint is tensile. Here, the examples I have taken, it is directly it is taking compressive one. No issue at all, correct? What is compressive? If I take this this sign as the, this one, it is compressive. Okay. Okay. If you want to change the example, what I will do? What I will do? This is one member. This is one member. Okay, let it be. So, I will write this one. F1. F2. F3 and this is 90 degrees. Okay, this is Y, this is X. Now, okay, okay. actually, I have taken from books uh, reference. It yes, is sir. Okay. Yeah, no issue, no issue. So, one more question. Uh, yes. so, uh, so, you said um, that if the value comes as negative, we'll still draw the figure of FBD as uh, in terms of the tensile strength. Yes. Uh, so then, at the end, how much means uh, what should we continue with the FVD or uh, directly the answer we are getting? No, actually, as I told, always use uh, that arrow away from the joint and you solve this. When you solve, basically, you will get some value, say 100 kilonewton with negative sign that is compressive. Then you got minus that means minus 100 kilonewton you got. So, in the for the, in the next one, Fibonacci diagram also you draw away from the joint, but when you put the value, you put minus 100. Then this issue will be resolved. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Understood. Actually, yes, sir. as I am th thinking, everything is tensile, but finally, some force I got minus 100 kilonewton. That means I thought tensile, it is a minus 100 kilonewton, minus will indicate it is complete. Don't need to think much. Directly it is compressive. Then at the adjacent joint, when you will draw the pivot diagram, it will you put there at the tensile itself, but you put minus under. Then what will happen at the end? Whatever you will value will get, you will be very sure, sure shot. It is tensile. It is compressive. Or else, if you consider sometimes tensile compressive, maybe 
uh, if you are in hurry mode in the exam, you can reach to the wrong impression. Some tensile member you can say as a compressive. Try to understand. When your member is tens in tensile mode, when his member is compressive mode, you can say, sir, I should get only data, you should get only one mark. No, I can deduct half marks also. Why? Say, second ugly base, you you are to design and some, some members you got negative force. Compressive force. It should be tensile. If it is compressive force of any of the members, hundred percent that member will buckle. Immediately that member will buckle, and whole structures of the, that second equilibrium will be in an unstable condition, and it will collapse or fail immediately. What mistake you did? Only one. Last you got minus. But as an engineer, it is huge difference. Do you understand my point? Yes, sir. If it is Thank tensile, you, yes, yes. If it is tensile, yes. that that material will fail due to yielding, maybe due to yielding, okay, maybe due to uh, uh, bending. But if it is compressive, hundred percent, that type of long, long, small, comparatively small cross section, very long, uh, long structures, we call the that is effective length by uh, radius of gyration. Uh, we call cylindrical ratio, cylindrical ratio. That is huge, and it is compressive. Hundred percent compressive member, axial member, it will buckle. It will go under buckling. Analysis of the buckling, and definitely immediately that uh, second ugly bridge will buckle. Confirm. That's why here positive or negative is, is not simply positive or negative. Tensile and compressive is huge difference for us as an engineer. Okay. Next one. Okay, so thank you, sir. Okay, okay. thank you. Say for example, I have two force F1 and F2. Those are arbitrary. This angle, this angle is alpha arbitrary. Sorry, not this alpha. This alpha is arbitrary. Okay, two members. One is this. Other is maybe this. Any any arbitrary angle. Okay, this this angle alpha arbitrary. Now. It is been said that there are two forces, F2 and F1, and it is told the member is in equilibrium. You found is some of the members is looking like this. There is no external force here or that joint, but these two members they are aligned in a arbitrary angle. Arbitrary means neither zero, one eighty degree, one ninety degree, or two seventy degree. Then, if I consider this is say x x prime axis. Only this x prime if x is this is 90 degree. I have taken 90 degree. This x prime axis. If it is so, and if I if I draw here, say some angle, maybe maybe uh, alpha one. In along x uh, x prime direction, f2 cosine alpha one equal to zero, because there is in the contribution of f1 along x1 prime, sorry x prime, then. F1 cosine alpha equal to zero along x prime, then F1 equal to zero. Confirm. Sorry, 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 sorry. F2 will be zero because I am considering x prime. No contribution of F1. Then F2 cosine alpha one. Alpha one will be zero. Alpha one is not equal to zero, so F2 will be zero. That's why this will this equation will give F2 equal to zero. Now consider another case. This one. This one, and uh, this is 90 degree. This is uh, with respect to x, and maybe this is alpha 2. Then, f x equal to zero will give f 1 cosine alpha 2 equal to zero, or f 1 equal to zero. That will give from this both f 1 and f 2 are zero. That means there there are you can find out any member. There are two members aligned arbitrarily. And there is an external force being applied to that particular joint. Neither there is some reactions from the support for particular joint. Then definitely all these two forces will be having zero load. This point is clear. Case one you understood, correct? This one you understood, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. This one, this one. Yes, sir. Should I yes, tell? Okay. That means you repeat the conclusion yes. of the. Yes, case. sir. Second, please repeat. Yes, yeah, yeah. sure. Conclusion. Yes, yeah, sure. Conclusion. 
these are two f1 f2 two forces they are making some arbitrary angles alpha either 0 degree 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree now if i do some some consider some some 90 degree with uh, with some uh, some force and take some reference x prime summation x prime equal to 0 it will give f2 equal to 0 and if i consider another 90 degree along x because this x and y i can have any direction i have the right if i consider this is the x axis and this is this is and uh, 90 degree then summation fx equal to 0 will give f1 cosine alpha 2 equal to 0 that means f1 equal to 0 so if i use this x i have not shown here it is y you can assume if this x prime this is y prime dotted this is y prime that means there are two forces they are making angle equal and uh, some arbitrary angle with each other only two force f1 and f2 those forces are unknown but the structure is in equilibrium there is no external force being applied to the joint neither there is any reaction force from the support then definitely this f1 and f2 must be zero is it clear yes sir okay fine next example special case three okay there are two forces actually four forces one two three four f1 f2 f3 and f4 and f1 and f2 they are collinear f3 and f4 are collinear that means this and this are collinear this member and this member are collinear you have to re recall each member is connected through joint only it is not possible that one particular continuous member this is the joint no this is wrong this is P, uh, this is only like this this is one member this is the pin joint this will be another member will be connected to pin joint one member two member so one two this is the correct one it is not that there is one continuous member inside there is one circular hole you have to insert pin and there is some member no it is not two force member it is multiple force multiple forces will be there in this member it will go to the chapter frame next chapter we will do okay after the class this will go for the frame for stars what is happening that joint no no member is continuous through the joint so it is at the one member it is at the end at the joint now f1 f2 collinear f2 f3 collinear you consider you consider here 90 degree and this is the x axis so of course this will be y axis don't need to write x is enough for me this is the x axis 90 degree okay now maybe this angle this is 90 degree maybe this angle say alpha so summation f x equal to 0 will give if this is alpha it will give if it is alpha you extend this this also will be alpha then it will give f1 cosine alpha minus f2 cosine alpha equal to 0 alpha is not equal to 0 f1 equal to f2 if this is the case there are four forces f1 f2 f3 f4 this member four members out of four members this members this members are collinear this members this members are collinear and f1 and f2 are collinear f3 and f4 are collinear but this f this members and this member this members and this members they they are although collinear but this is the beta some arbitrary value so beta they are making some arbitrary angle beta in that case if i consider x axis summation f x equal to 0 will give summation f x equal to 0 will give f1 equal to f2 now you take another 90 degree this is another 90 degree x prime and maybe consider this 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 angle say phi if this is the phi this also will be phi and this is positive x so f4 cosine phi minus f3 cosine phi equal to 0 so f3 equal to f4 what is the indication two forces here but out of two forces there are pair of forces pair of forces here their their line of actions are same f1 f2 line of action same f3 f4 line of action same but 
f1 and f2 together along with f3 and f4 they are making some arbitrary angle from the equilibrium it is from the equilibrium you can be sure from drawing the equilibrium for that particular joint you can already you can easily show that f1 equal to f2 f3 equal to f4 that means collinear forces are same magnitude opposite direction collinear forces are same magnitude opposite direction this is another observation is it clear yes sir yeah anybody should i explain once again okay fine thank you this is done this is done then we can have from some sort of uh, member we call the cross member it looks like cross cross member we call cross brace members as shown in the figure what it is interesting that as i told if this is the this type of members it is it is it is here to here to be careful here there is no joint here actually if you see from the side it is looking like this this is maybe d this is a this is b this is c i have exaggerated it there is no connection this this one and this member there is inclined member there is no connection there is no connection and it, it is cross member cross brace member what is happening as i told if it is so it's supposed to have indeterminate structure we cannot calculate because for this say this if this is a joint this is this will collapse unstable if i add only one member that is enough to get the stability but if i add another member if i add another member it will be indeterminate problem but but indeterminate in what sense because these two members are like looking like this they are not connected through joint at 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 this junction there is no junction at all reality there is some gap so but what is happening basically if instead of some solid instead of some solid member if we use some cable for this member this 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 is made of say some cable or maybe some rope as that it what is the what is rope and and cable their features are they are always they, tensile force they can take only tensile force yes thank you so in compressive force they are inactive okay in compressive force they will not they will be inactive that means if this is the case this is the two types of uh, members and maybe i have applied some external external load t here external uh, load t here or maybe tension here t if it is t then this member will try to elongate correct or compress it will try to compress or elongate if i apply some t here compress compress so instead of that i'll show another example not sorry let it be like this i have applied some t here now if i apply t here okay like this then this will be tensile you know it then this will be tensile this this will try to elongate like this tendency will be looks like this if this is the t applied in this direction if it is tensile definitely it will be compressive so it will be inactive if that scenario we can say we can get that type of scenario one is tensile other is compressive that scenario if we can find then what will happen it will happen that although there are some some redundancy of the member but one member can be disregarded that member will, will not take the load then that structure once again will be something like a uh, determinate structure is it clear here or should we, should i explain once again okay i am doing that here there are some cross brace member they are not connected through joint here basically in fact there is no joint at all they are from side you can see they are looking like this but if any member is having this type of uh, joints 
then uh, due to this ex one extra member there will be some redundancy we cannot uh, calculate uh, the unknowns if all all uh, structures are rigid all members are rigid basically initially 1 2 3 4 5 6 so all structures are rigid then we cannot find all the unknowns but if the member 5 and 6 these two we can make uh, we can make that it is made of cable or some rope such that that member can ten, take only tensile load then careful observations of the structure can ensure you that one member is under tension other cross based Uh, member is in compression so to solve this type of problems if it is tension it is compression it will be inactive so once again you can uh, you can find out all the unknowns from the equation of equilibrium condition because it will not uh, it will be not active in that case so to solve this problem what we do generally by inspection we assume that let's see this member is tensile and this so if one member is tensile other cross based member will be compressive this is our uh, intent uh, our assumption say like ab is tensile and cd is compressive this is my assumption initially if cd is compressive it will not take any load so based on the assumption that ab only take the load cd will not take the load you do entire calculation and at the end you show that ab is tensile and cd is compressive if you can do you are perfect if you are wrong your assumption is wrong then reverse is true cd will be in tension and ab will be in compression say for example in some case load has been external load has been applied here t2 then cd will be tension and this will be compression so reverse thing you have to consider and and you have to recalculate everything and this type of problem may be little bit lengthy if you are doing wrong Uh, if you, you are considering some wrong assumption at, at the beginning so careful observations will make sure which one will be tensile and which one is will be compressed is it clear yes sir next is say, another case so, like we have this force f1 f2 and say for example i want to draw i want to convert this along this equilibrium equation here along x so what i will do sorry this is the x i want to extend this this is the x no so here it is alpha if it is alpha and this th this things are all the things are arbitrary okay i can extend like this these these three forces are arbitrary then i can have this angle alpha then this also some other alpha with this x it is alpha then maybe this is beta this is maybe beta then i can have that equation that f2 cosin alpha summation fx equal to 0 we give l cosin beta minus f3 cosine alpha equal to 0 you can get the relationship similar way similar way if we have another 90 degree initially i have considered this 90 now i have i want to consider this 90 degree and this is beta 1 this also will be beta 1 and this is beta 1 maybe this is alpha 2 so based on that also what we can do we can decompose the force into x and y directions or maybe here with respect to x with respect to x prime and we can get the equilibrium conditions okay we can get the equilibrium conditions and why we are doing this way because we want to make it very simple because this f3 will be in terms of this two cosine and l in other case also 
it is f here f2 will be f2 sorry f3 will be l cosine beta cosine alpha similarly this this f1 sorry this is sorry sir this f2 f2 f1 can be l say cosine beta 1 cosine alpha 1 that way we can simplify the problems it whenever we will solve the problem we will understand this better okay method of section already i have explained so like so i want to say for example i want to calculate the value of b c what i will do i will do this cross section it will be exposed over there i will take moment with respect to this this will be calculated then summation f x y summation f y 0 will be this and this that has been shown here basically initially what i have to do maybe this is the reaction force you already know sorry this is the reaction force already know now this is the cut out this is the cut out so here how you have to show this this force has been exposed this force has been exposed okay maybe here it is been shown compressive let us say instead of compressive you say tensile as i told at that time i show the tensile take for this take moment with respect to this point get this value then summation f y 0 is summation f x 0 or maybe you can start from the right side now which side you want to start for calculating b as a right side or left side both are same no issue at all generally what people used to do and which case Uh, the number of unknowns are less and very easy to calculate. You have to you can, you can proceed for that. Maybe right side one is better because it is having only only uh, unknown. Uh, it, 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 sorry, known value is uh, R two. Only one force. If I take moment respect to this, okay. So moment respect to this point B. So easily R two multiplied by the distance. Uh, Uh, equal to uh, this EF, EF multiplied by this distance. It is very easy to get, do that one, but you have to be very careful. Remember theta and then and distance. Many times you have to use your 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 ten plus two standard concept to uh, find out exact value of theta. And the corresponding distance to calculate the moment r. That is very much important. If you are doing something wrong there, you can reach to some wrong results. Okay, these things I have already explained. This thing of already I have explained. That's all. Okay, let it be. Now, what I can do? I can show you one example. Not this. Maybe this. Okay. So to solve this, let me read out. You have to be careful in this case. Let's uh, uh, read out this. Calculate the force in the member C C G. So C G. This we have to calculate. And C F. This C F we have to calculate of the first zone. If the two So, what are the load has been applied externally? Two kilo newton, four kilo newton. See, this is uh, roller. This is also roller. Sorry, this is pin. This is also pin. And this is missing one. There is no member here. You see, actually internally the member was not stable, but it has been made stable due to some extra extra degrees of freedom. If you see, for this hinge there are two degrees of freedom. Here two degrees of freedom. So four degrees of freedom. Restricted externally, but generally what we have seen in triangular shape, three degrees of freedom restriction of external is enough for us. That's why one dollar, one one pin. But it is something different because it is internally it was not stable. Okay. Now force has been applied, say four kilo newton and two kilo newton, and we have to calculate the unknown of these two forces. So what to do that? To start with, maybe I'll say one way. Let me check how many members we are having. One, two, three, C D, C then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So is M equal to ten? How many J? 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So one difference, one difference from the other one was, it, this is not closed loop. Some members is missing. For this case, basically, if you remove this two one, I'm little explaining little bit some advanced one for you. It is not simple case due to one member miss. So you 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 detect this two, and you get some j j prime equal to one two three four five six seven. That is seven minus two equal to five. Basically, if you exclude this, only you have one two three four five joints. And for this particular case to check whether it is determinate or not determinate, expression is m equal to 2j prime. And that has been satisfied. m equal to 10 and j prime is equal to 5. Little bit different, but don't worry. So then it is told that given problem we have to calculate, we have to calculate the two unknowns that is CG, CG and CF and this two. Okay. So from where do we can start? We can start from, from A, from joint A. If I start from here, I can get this, this two unknown. Then from A to I can move to B. This is known, this is known, this two can be calculated easily. B, then I can move to the joint G because if I move for joint G, already this is known, this is known, these two can be known. Then maybe I can move to C to get this is known, this known, this two can be known. Then I can move to F, this is known, this known, this and this can be calculated. Okay, maybe. We can move that way and as this structure is not internally stable, we don't want to take any moment uh, equilibrium equation. Avoid moment equilibrium equation. Because this structure is not internally stable. You start from this and once you reach from 1 to 1, you will get the values. Okay, you can get the values. Next is. Next is it is told if two kilonewton force, if two kilonewton force acting on the truss was removed, if you remove this two kilonewton load. Identified by the inspection, those members who is zero force, who is the force as zero. So if you remove this two two kilonewton load, you consider free body diagram of here joint B. You can see B C G will be zero. If you remove this two kilonewton load and draw the free body diagram here in vertical directions, F Y equal to zero. So this is X. This is y. vertical direction f y equal to 0 will give b g equal to 0. Then move to joint g. For joint g, if it is not there at all, then this is arbitrary. This is c g is the arbitrary here. So c g will be 0. If this is 0, no, it is not there. Then you, you go to point joint c, draw the free body diagram. Then this is 90 degree, only force this will be 0. Then you move to F joint F. This is not at all. This is inclined. So this will be zero. I want to extend once again. First thing we call it is told that you remove two kilonewton force acting on the truss and identify the inspection. What are the members force at zero? So to do so, first of all, I have to draw the Fibonacci diagram of joint B when two kilonewton load has been removed. Then F I equal to zero will give that B G that member force will be zero. Then if you 
draw the free body diagram for G, for G, then CG is inclined. VG already zero. CG is some inclined one member, so that force will be zero. Then move to C, free body diagram will give CF equal to zero. Then move to free, uh, uh, joint F, it will give DF equal to zero. That is the first question being asked. Next one. On the other hand, in the two kilonewton force was applied at G. Instead of B, what would be the, any zero force in the member? So instead of uh, applying B, you have to apply. Instead of applying B, you have to apply at G. Okay. So I, I simply I want to draw this way. So it is told. It is applied here two kilonewton load. And it is four kilonewton. Let it be so. This this may be reaction forces. Okay. Now this is G. You concentrate on this B, and this is G. This B. So if you draw free body diagram for last case, two kilonewton is applied instead of B. It is been applied at G. Then free body diagram of uh, joint G, sorry, joint B will ensure that B G equal to zero. This will be zero. But if you go here, it is it is not two force, correct? One force has been applied here. One is here, here, here. So it is not zero. If it is not zero, then none of the member will be having zero force. Have you understood this? Problem up to this, sir. Once yeah. again, yes, yes. Which one, sir? Last question. Yes, the... this one. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. So, I want to draw free body diagram for B. This force, this force, and this force. This is B, G. This is 90 degree. As per our understanding, if it is X, this is Y. If Y equal to 0, we will give this equal to 0. Confirm, correct? Yes, sir. Then you remove this. But your understanding, you remove this. You are here. Okay. Now, draw the free body diagram for. G, joint G, 2 kilonewton. This is the scenario here. Here, 1, 2, 3 forces. Okay, and 2 kilonewton is there. But if you, even if whatever the combination you want to do, do neither of the force will be 0. This scenario. Yes, sir. That, that is the thing I want to highlight. Okay. So, what we can do? Let me show you the solutions for this case. A little bit different because this problem we have considered one member here. Leave it that portion. In this our problem, this is not there. Okay. So this calculation will be different. Don't worry. Now what we have to do, as I told, we have to start from we have to start from point A, sorry, joint A, then joint B, joint G, C and F. From the from the geometry you can get tan theta equal to value are given, correct? 3 meter or dimensions are given here. This is 3 meter, 2 meter, 2 meter, 2 meter. So tan theta equal to 3 by 6, theta you can calculate. If you know the theta, whatever you require, you can calculate the momentum accordingly. Now for free body diagram of, free body diagram of joint A, free body diagram of joint A. So this is the force, this is away, away. Okay, I can calculate summation fx0, summation fy0, this is the FAB and this is FAB, FAG, we have to see, yeah, this is FAG. You see, this is negative, compressive. FAG is compressive, this FAG, it was compressive here, okay, compressive. Now, when I am drawing the free body diagram for, for joint B, for joint B, 
what i did this is the external force applied this is the away 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 you use summation f y 0 f x 0 you will get the value once again this is negative b g is negative don't worry let it be now when i am going to for this free body diagram of g next so this is a b g see i have shown everything away from the joint away from the joint away from the joint okay and when i want to put that in the expression the value i want to put i want to put as a negative value here i have shown away from the joint but when it is value is ag is minus minus uh, 8.9 so what we will do i will i will i will write there that value as the minus there so ag in this expression ag here in this ag value value i want to write minus 8.94 then don't worry everything will be sorted out and you have to only solve one by one step by step and you can get the result everything concept is take away from the joints if you are getting negative sign it will be compressive at the end you can write this is the members uh, one two three four write a b b c c d members four stage this is these are the values including if something is zero then nature tensile compressive or none of this that way you can do this this is example one quickly i can go say for example two what we have to do say for example two uh, see this structure is all at triangular internally stable but only one one pin is you are having so pin you can show two reactions but externally th uh, three degrees of freedom we want to we want to uh, restrict to get the equilibrium condition sorry 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 to get to get the stable condition it is not stable but don't worry it is told that uh, that that the, the drop breeze is being raised by the cable ei this is the ei uh, and the 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 four joints loading shown from the weight of the roadway one two three four okay then determine the force of the different members you have to calculate the unknowns so to start with for this problem so we'll do what we'll do we'll go step by step one step to another step that way we can move so which one we can start first you tell me which one we can go first for this problem which member which joint we should go first okay okay, okay. maybe Start from maybe. one side Sir, we should start from what side? That it would be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, easy. Okay, okay, very good. So from the entire entire one, entire one here is the pin, correct? You show by two reactions. Take moment with respect to this, you will get this value. This tension you will get first. Okay. First is this is the te this tension. You can calculate if you take moment with respect to this. You replace this uh, support by two forces here reaction. Take moment with respect to this, you will get this, this, this unknown, EI, correct? EI unknown you can calculate. Once you know the EI, you start with joints E, you will get this two value. Once you will get this two value, you come to D, this two value can, can be calculated. Once you know this two, this two value, then you go to F, this already know, this can be calculated. Once you know F, then you go to C, this two will be calculated. Okay, if this two calculated, then you can go to G, uh, this two will be calculated. Then you can go B, then this two will be calculated. Or in other way also you can go. Your task is, you have to be very careful to calculate the angle and as well as this moment term and you follow the step. And you, you just look what are the values you have to calculate. That's all. This problem is okay for you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Next yes, sir. Next problem. Sir, yes. sir, could you please end today? It's 5.25 already. No problem. Ma maximum 5 minutes I will take. Because... Okay, okay, sir. Okay, 5 minutes. So, this is another problem. Problem 5. Okay. For this problem... <coughs> so, here also the similar issue. It is not complete one. Okay. You can consider what is M, what is J, what is J prime and M M uh equal to 2j prime you can check it now you have to calculate the forces cf 
Okay. You have to calculate this value. And this is also internally not stable. That's why here, here, if I show that reaction code, I will remove this. I'm just saving some time. Maybe this is the reaction. So to calculate this, you first of all you you concentrate on E. See, these are inclined. So this will be zero, this also will be zero. Is not it? Will you start with E, joint E? Then this force will be zero, this force will be zero. So D E will be zero, E F equal to zero. Whether you understood or not, these two forces will be zero. If you draw a fluid diagram of E. Have you understood? Yes, sir. Yeah. No, sir. Okay, fine. So these are the two forces. This is E, E D, E F, joint E, F B D of joint E. This is X axis, Y axis. If we take this along Y axis, take component. If along Y axis, if you take component, then E F this is alpha ef cosine alpha will be zero that means ef will be zero yes sir, sir. another case yeah, yeah. another case you have to take another sort of uh, here another 90 yes, degree yes, okay that you understood then you can calculate the angle from this then what you can do if this is zero you can start from d from d this is zero then this two can be calculated then from d from D, you can move to D is done. You can move to joint F. This is zero. This is known. This two can be calculated. If you go F from F to you go C, you go to C. This two, this done. This can be calculated. Okay. That way you can calculate C F C G E F or whatever is required. Similar problem. I want to calculate. Using using uh, method of section, it is told that solve the force member for C G C G C G. This one we have to calculate. So how to we can solve this? To do, do this using method of section, I want some imaginary card. So this is the imaginary card. If this is the imaginary card, so I will take upper portion. This force will be exposed. This force will be exposed and this force will be exposed. Okay. As per the plan, just a minute. So only this force will be exposed. I will write this. Outside will be exposed. So this is FG, this force is CG, and this is CB, and this is G. And you show in a dotted line. Now take moment with respect to G equal to zero here you will you will find C B value. Then summation F X equal to zero, summation F Y equal to zero. So this is X Y so X Y reaction X Y. So C B one C B is known, the summation F X equal to zero, F Y equal to zero, you can calculate this. That indicates when you we are interested to 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 calculate only few sections few few members reaction force we can easily go for method of section we will have some imaginary card very carefully you have to take such that the whatever you have to calculate that is unknown that should be exposed internal force should be exposed as the external force due to that card and you use uh, two equilibrium two force equilibrium one moment equilibrium equation to get the unknown sometimes maybe one cut is not enough Double cut. One cut one for one free body diagram. Cut two for the second free body diagram. You can do. Another thing you can notice here that this this reaction force for A and H uh, that is not required to calculate the 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 force is been carried out by members uh, members uh, C G. Last point I should want to say to consider. You just imagine this force has been applied. So this member is trying to lengthen. You force applied here. So, so this member is supposed to elongate. That's why this is tensile. If I make it reverse, let it be compressive force and let it be compressive force. Then this member is tight to contract, it will be compressive. This member is tight to contract, it will be compressive. 
that is that way also at the end whenever we will get it. so initially our target is everything make it away from the joint <coughs> make it away from the joint means don't be confused i want to i want to consider i want to consider here this upper portion only so for me this one is x is away not this one this one is away this one is away this one is away don't be confused this so which portion we are looking for based on that so i am interested for this zone this zone i have considered so this is the away from the joint that way this is away from the body this is away from the joint from body or joint but it is towards this don't consider this as the negative i i am here we are considering here so that's why it is away from the body it is tensile any doubt up to this hello any doubt up to this no sir no okay. no sir if it is so no then, sir yeah then we can no stop. sir yes fine fine so what is your target your target is you start working on uh, 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 the fictional problem remain with you as well as this Uh, method of joint so hopefully by within 2 3 hours i will share this uh, lectures with you such that next uh, monday uh, tuesday uh, we can discuss whatever the problems you are facing for friction as well as uh, cross problem using method of joint or method of section so we are getting only 2 days 2 plus 2 4 hours next to 4 hours to complete uh, Uh, to complete uh, uh, or to to clarify you whatever doubt you are having such that you will be easily capable to give uh, the the past test on 25 so we have two days left next week only uh, the hints of the problems you are facing to solve so whatever you have be ready try at your own be ready and tell me i will give you the hints such that you will be able to uh, upload your assignments in due time for uh, equilibrium uh, friction as well as uh, yes sir thank you sir yeah so yeah. see see you uh, next day just a minute so what i can do stop presenting first thank you sir yeah just wait excuse me sir yes i should stop recording thank you sir yes yes, yes. excuse me sir thank o you, okay sir. thank you see you next day be prepared okay okay thank, thank you, you thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.